My name's John Evans and I bought an FX3 1957 London taxi. All made in Coventry, by the way, every single piece. This is quite amusing. Uh, I, was, I was looking on the internet some years ago. I saw it advertised in Holland. So I said to my one of my sons, I said, oh, I do like this taxi. I fancy buying this taxi. And I said, phone the owner up. So he phoned the owner up and uh, the owner said that uh, it'd been sold. So we just left it and then a week later or thereabouts, uh, I said to one of my other children, I said, where's Garrett? Oh, he's biked it, he's cycled to Harwich and he's going to a festival in Rotterdam on his bicycle. I thought, the guy's nuts. So while he was there, anyway, it transpires that while he was there, the guy who was selling the taxi phoned him up and said, oh, by the way, that sale fell through. Gee, are you still interested? So he said, yeah, why not? And he was only up the road. So, you know, uh, talk about coincidence. So he went and seen it and this guy opened it. He said, Dad, when he opened the garage and the taxi, he had lights, fairy lights on the top of it to light it up. He says, I thought I could hear angels, Dad. It was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't help but buy it. So, he, uh, with my debit card, by the way. So I didn't know anything about this. Uh, the next thing I know, I wake up a couple of days later, I'm looking out the window and, or look, uh, not looking out the window, I was in bed and I could hear this, the, 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 the air brakes going on a recovery truck, it, ch -ch -ch, you know, that kind of sound. I thought, what, what's that? What's that? I look out the window, it's that bloody taxi on the back of a recovery truck. He's driven it, I shouldn't be saying this, but he's driven <laughs> it with no tax, no MOT, which it doesn't need, by the way, because it's pre-1960. Uh, but no insurance. He's driven it all the way across over the boat and then no documents, no nothing. I don't know how he did it. Um, and uh, he breaks down on the A13 in Essex and then he turns to my eyes and says, oh, by the way, Dad, I bought it with your debit card. Oh, great. I couldn't, I couldn't even breathe. Oh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But I love it. Absolutely love it. I love London, you see. I used to live in London. I'm a Coventry person, born and bred. My mum was married at the church here, Trinity Church. Um, uh, but I love it because I've got another one as well, a Beardmore, which is probably even prettier than that. But I love this because it, of its association with London and its association with Coventry. Everything there is made in Coventry, which is, you know, people often think Coventry hasn't got much of a history, but it's got a great engineering history, fantastic history. Yeah, so that's why I love it.